Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to go through some of the troubleshooting that I did uh, for because I realised when my uh, video doorbell and then a few of our devices that were Wi-Fi 6 and uh, Wi-Fi 5 um, weren't really connecting at the, the, the speed that we were expected. Um, so like on my iPad I expect normally and my iPhone um, both of them should be connecting at around 866 megabytes uh, per second and uh, they weren't and also our video doorbell that only connects on the 2.4 gigahertz suddenly was not connecting at the 144 megabits per second uh, megabytes per second upload and download it was going down to 70 and then down to 5 and a few of the other devices across the both the 5 gigahertz frequencies seem to be affected as well so it was a bit of a strange saying that when I did identify I realized that on the first 5 gigahertz frequencies devices were connecting faster on that connection uh, or that channel uh, than they were on my second gaming uh, that I use for the 5 gigahertz frequency as well so I just wanted to go through some of the troubleshooting that I did and then hopefully if you ever have the issue you know what to do as well. So what I first of all did as we know we've got two major things that are really good that are built into our GTX 11000 is the Wi-Fi radar that I've gone through before and then the network map. So I've done these in previous videos if you want more details you can just go to the uh, the playlist for this router. So as you know um, on our one, so if you go to view list, this they will then bring up a, a list of devices um, that are connected to your router. So always best go to interface and then it splits them down from the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, the first 5 gigahertz and the second 5 gigahertz frequency as well. And then it gives you a list on the right hand side of the TX rate, so that's the connection rate of the wireless state of the wireless device um, its transmission rate basically and what's receiving and um, also the uh, what it's sending so you can see the device's speed and everything else and then so this uh, particular device here as you can see was my uh, doorbell and it should be 144 like it is now but before it was only at 5 and then 72 it was um, very low and of course I wasn't giving a good connection when people were pushing the doorbell it was very slow and also that I went for the um, tablet and then some of our phones that are Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 devices they were only connecting at around 300 or 200 um, and as now as you can see they're connecting at 866 uh, 866 so you can see the devices uh, are actually connecting at a higher speed um, so that's quite good but I found this first 5 gigahertz frequency devices were actually connecting faster than the second so I wanted to find out why that was as well and uh, you'll see that some of the devices um, now on my 5 gigahertz frequency are connecting at 1200 uh, uh, megabytes per second but of course you never get that full speed but it's actually connecting at the full speeds that I expected now and it's making the net wireless devices much better so what I did is first of all just identified by looking at these connection speeds and having a look to see well should they be connecting so slow or should they be faster um, is it working fine and normally you can just look up the device on Google for your tablet or, or whatever device you have uh, that will identify so now if we have a look on here um, so we'll be able to see here if we now close this off you can go to Wi-Fi insight so that's our rate wi-fi radar so first of all to get this working uh, i see that most people start survey and nothing's coming up so you always have to go to settings um so you normally always have to go to we'll close that to your wi-fi radar and then you go to settings and that will set you up here and then what you have to do first is start data collection now it will start reading the data so now you go to site survey and you'll be able to go through your networks to see what is in connection of the speeds and then the devices, the Wi-Fi routers that are around you. And of course the one that I was having issue was, was the 2.4 and the 5. So then I realized that my 2.4 was actually sitting um, frequency. Uh, so if I click this one to 
between them. So if I start scanning. So on my 2.4 gigahertz channel, it was actually sitting on channel nine. Um, and of course that's not one of the overlapping. So the best channels really, but they are congested are channels one, six and 11, uh, because you can see the arching over here of the speed. Um, but of course here I was on nine and of course that was causing, I was getting a lot of interference from lots of other networks around. And I found that channel one was actually had two network um, routers under that channel. And so I chose that one. And then that actually brought my speed up as well. As you can see the max as well to 385. And then made all my devices on the 2.4 gigahertz actually connect at a much higher rate like I expected. Like our video doorbell now connects 144 when before it was at five and seven. So that's why I changed the channel to one and I saw that identified. And you can do the same for when I used on the second five gigahertz frequency. You see there wasn't much congestion. In fact, there was only one other network that was using uh, the five gigahertz frequencies. But I noticed that mine was set to 136 and, and then it went to 140 or it was auto tuning between the two. And of course, this was causing the dev my devices perhaps were a little bit, even though they're Wi-Fi 6, um, not compatible um, with these higher frequencies or there was too much interference, even though there's no network around. So when I actually brought the channel down, as you can see here, the uh, control channel and the center channel as well to 106. Now I'm actually getting before this connection here where it says 1733 uh, megabits per second, I was actually only getting 400. So now it's knocked it up to 1733. So of course my now and my devices are actually connecting a much quicker speed um, like you saw before. And then my phone is actually connecting at 1200. Um, so it's actually uh, made my connection and my devices actually connect to the internet. And when I run speed tests as well, um, I've confirmed that and it hasn't changed. So what I've done is fixed these at the channels. So I've gone into the Wi-Fi settings and I've changed the channels. Instead of auto, I've selected that it stays on these channels here. So channel one for 2.4 and then for my second five gigahertz uh, channel, then I have selected 106 and then it, then it will select your auto channel that it will go between. So this is just a quick rundown of how I identified network issues with my Wi-Fi devices and their speed connections. Uh, so I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Um, and if you do have any questions, uh, then please leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks and have a great day.